MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game two of the NLDS between the San Francisco Giants and the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. HR, what's the key for them here tonight? Well, Matt, last game they got shut out, so we're going to learn a lot about this offense. How will they score runs? Can they manufacture runs? Are they going to totally rely on the long ball all the time? When you come off a shutout, it makes you think about your offensive attack. I want to see what adjustments they make in this game. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Garno puts the tag on him, one gone. In the second spot tonight, second baseman, Joe Panic. Here's Joe Panic. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. Matt, this is an important at-bat. This is an important half inning. They need to score a run. They didn't score last game. Runs get people excited. You get your fan base enthused. Either they're watching it on television or they're right here in the ballpark. You need to get the people behind you, and you need to score a run. The first baseman, number nine, Brandon. The first baseman, Belt. Brandon Belt. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling them off till he gets something he wants to hit. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Giants down in order. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? Matt, have you seen this guy throw? Ooh, he is electric. What do you got to do against him? I think you got to attack him early. He's just too overpowering. His stuff is electric. He's got one of those great power arms that we'll talk about for years to come. You got to take it to him before he takes it to you. Jeff Samarja will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, this guy's been pretty unpredictable. Inconsistent, I guess, is probably the best word to put it. Look, he's got a career ERA over four, but he continues to make starts. So that's the positive of it. We'll see today who we get, Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. Let's take a look at the Giants' defense brought to you by Majestic. Now I'm looking down there at Denard Spann. Don't be deceived by a little gray goatee he's got going on. He's still a young man. He may be long in the tooth, but he can still run. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. <laughs> 0 1, here's the pitch. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? 
Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. The one and two pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Mine toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Well, the leadoff guy couldn't get on, but the number two guy with that base hit gets on base. Now here comes the thunder, the meat of the order. This is what they want. First offering on its way. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. You talk about pitchers, umpire. If you're working both sides of the plate, you have a tendency to be pretty effective with Matthew Ross back there. Look, there's no doubt he's a pitcher's umpire. If I was pitching in this game, I'm sending him a taxi, making sure he gets there safe. Runner at first here, one man out. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Now a throw over to first, and he's back in standing. The two and one on its way. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Set. Here's the 3 1. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right Batting there. Four. And you know he's talking to himself in his head about Number it. 17. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. Number 17 stands in as he looks at ball one here. Seems like he's just lost the strike zone these last several pitches. He's got a walk, and that pitch right there, that wasn't even close. The set and the 1-0 pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Smoke on the ground left side. A dive and he knocks it down. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get it out on the play. So stepping in, Aaron Altair. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. Here comes the first pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. 0-1, here's the pitch. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. We can't hear it from here, obviously, but I think someone in the dugout just yelled, wear it, because that could have been a run. Liner toward right center. And a dive, but he comes up empty, and this is big trouble now out in right center. One run is scored. And the second run will score. That makes it a 2-0 ball game. We didn't have to wait long for the offensive fireworks of this one. Two runners aboard, and he got a pitch he liked. Drove it all the way to the wall to bring in a pair of runs, and they're still in good shape to add on with him at second now. Here's the catcher, Travis Darnot, as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. To short. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. Now a flare out to left center. Coming in is Span. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. 
batting. Coming to the plate now, Michael Franco. Trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Hard hit toward Crawford and caught by him at shortstop. Pretty much right in the glove that time, and the inning is over. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. We'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia. It's the Phillies four, and the Giants nothing. Leading off for the Giants, the catcher number And now pitch on the way. Buster Posey. Buster Posey is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Well, he got off to a 4-0 lead in the first inning. Now for the pitcher, be aggressive. Go after those hitters because you know they're probably going to be a little bit timid, taking pitches, not trying to be too aggressive because they find themselves down 4 nothing already. Too high. 1-2. and two. I like how he wasted that pitch. It was close enough to tempt the hitter to swing, but now you got him thinking, will he come back with another fastball? You got him set up. Off speed, hard pitch, anything now. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just got too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. Number 53 is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And He's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Number 53 Not goes exact. down for out number Georgia. two in the top half. Brandon Crawford. Pitch on the way. Brandon Crawford is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And that misses one and one. His past line against Aaron Nola. He's one for two. From the windup, the one one pitch. High pop up. And Franco will make the catch to retire the side. Giants are down one, two, three. They trail here four to nothing. So digging in now, Aaron Nola. He matches up with Jeff Samarja to get the inning Aaron underway. Nola. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Now here it comes. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. You're down 0-2. You're in protect mode. You want to chase that ball. Nice. Oh, it's off the third base bag. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see it? very often. Second baseman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Well, this second inning is not starting out any better than the first was. He just might not have it in this one. The 1 0 delivery. Now a swing and a fly ball. Pence coming on. And no shot for Pence. This is going to land foul.
He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. Ready on one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Now batting. Digging number in to five. try it again. Number five. He reached on a single in his first try. First offering on its way. And he'll try to hold up on the pitch inside, but to no avail, and that's the first strike. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. You know, guys, these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far. And clearly, they're all on the same page. The plan is simple. Lay off that slider and make it bring up something straight that strikes him. In the score, the runner from third. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's a 6-0 ball game. Great execution. You hit it first right thrown, up. right? That ball's right. going right up the middle. He hit it right David back up the middle. A lot of hits in the middle. Standing in now, David Peralta, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in his strike. He drew a base on balls his first time up. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Waiting on it, the left fielder, one away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting, number 17. from the stretch now a swing and a ground ball uh, this gets foul it's 0 and 1 here's the 0 1 tough one to lay off called a strike just the second inning but already 37 pitches to this point looked like the cut fastball there and he got him to swing through it for the second out in a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, Center hoping fielder, for a ground ball. Aaron. So that was okay. an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. High in the air out to center field. Span is under it, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We played two full. It's the Philly six and the Giants nothing. Here's the Panda now, Pablo Sandoval. He starts Maybe the inning, the and Dan, they're down six Third in the early going, so what do they need to do to claw Pablo back into this Sandoval. thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. And he lays off for ball one. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Again, a one-two. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. That was aggressive pitching in that at-bat, and I like seeing that. He Center showed fielder. all hard Number stuff two. until the fifth and Denied final pitch for the strikeout. Spain. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Here's the center fielder, Denard Spann. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Safe at first. A good effort to recover there. And he almost made the play, but that's a base hit. Hold on here, though. You can see the skipper heading out of the dugout now, so that very close safe call might be challenged. 
Yeah, I wasn't so sure about him being safe either, but here's another shot of it right here. Not easy to tell for sure from that shot. Going to be interesting to see what they want to do with this one. Stepping in now, Jeff Samarja wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. Throw to second, and they get him. So the sacrifice attempt is unsuccessful here. The right fielder, number eight, Hunter Pence. Ready for another chance? Hunter Pence, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First offering on its way. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. A runner on first with two away. Lifted down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. The 1 and 2 pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. He'll try again, 1 2. Curveball that time, not even close. He executed that one-two curveball pretty well. I think that's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. Franco has got it, and the side is retired. One left for San Francisco. They still find themselves down six zip. Riding in once again, Leading Travis Darno. He'll lead things off Patrick. as they look to perhaps build Travis. on an already sizable Darno. lead. Hit hard back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. Another first pitch hit. Man, they're going up there aggressive, looking the for that first 13, pitch fastball. He's struggling right now, and they Ready. are feasting. Galvez. So striding in, Freddie Galvis. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. 0-1 count and the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. To Crawford for one. The relay back to the pitcher, covering in time to double him up. Third baseman, Sharply hit seven. here, but right Mike at the Carroll. first baseman coming Mike off the bag. He makes a good throw, and they complete the 3-6-1 double play with the throw back to the pitcher at first. Now a ball popped up, but room in foul ground for the catcher.
Posey. Phillies down on just four pitches. They lead it six zip. Digging in for his second at bat, Joe Panic comes into this at bat 0 for 1 second in the ball game. Joe Panic. First pitch of the yeah. inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. And now pitch on the way. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The first baseman, number nine, Brandon. Here's Belt. the first baseman, Brandon Belt. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Man, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Here's Buster Posey now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. No, Just down. a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Two and two count. Here it comes. And he gets him to lift one into shallow center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now at the plate, number, number 53. 53. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Line foul to the right and over the Phillies dugout. Well, that was a big two out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons. The inning went from totally under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two out rallies start. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Giants leave one. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Digging in now, Aaron Nola. He's set to lead us off inning. in the home half of the fourth inning. Aaron Nola. And a oh, neck high Northern. fastball that time. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Yeah. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a bouncing ball headed for Sandoval at third. And a rather easy first out. Now batting. Second baseman. Digging Cesar. in and looking for more. Hernandez. Cesar Hernandez. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Chop foul wide of first. Six runs, eight hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And there's ball one. One and one. Hey. 
and he comes back with a fastball one and two now trying to send him packing for the second time and that one stayed too low apparently outside and a full count three and two Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Bases are empty, one man out. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. And it looks now like a right-hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Swing and a liner. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And Pence will have to hurry this back in off the wall. Hernandez is on his way home. The tag from Posey is right there, and he is gone at home plate. Now here comes Bruce Bochy out of the Giants' dugout on his way to the mound. And he'll signal for the bullpen. That's going to be it for Jeff Samarja. Sam Dyson answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. This ball will be chopped foul. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Pence looks up. Gone! So it's a two-run shot to right center. His first homer here in the series as they've widened this lead to eight now. man he got hurt his second pitch since coming in and he serves one up a reliever's worst nightmare and a big confidence boost to the lineup let's see if he can rebound the batter number 17 in now number 17 as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. One and zero oh pitch on the way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. He's set. Here comes the one one. Heading out towards shallow right. Pence has a read on it. And that retires the side. Another good inning here for the Phillies. And the brotherly love is in abundance now. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Leading off for San Francisco. Into the windup and the pitch. Brandon Crawford. Fouled back. The windup and the 0 1. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Altair looking up. Gone to lead off the inning. Here's the panda now, Pablo Sandoval. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. A fastball that just misses inside. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. He hasn't used that pitch much this game. That's one he's been working on the bullpen, and now he's brought it into the game. If he's able to incorporate that in his stuff, look out. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. 
Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Here's the center fielder, Denard Spann. Center fielder number two, Denard Spann. First offering on its way. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Good looking sinker on the inside corner. The count is 1 and 2. That one misses, and I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees. It's two and two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now at two and two, but, boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. The pitcher number 49, Sam. Kelby Tomlinson will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 37, Kelby Tomlinson. And he lays off there, 1-0. and oh. The windup and the 1-0 -oh pitch. A high strike there, and it's 1-1. One and one. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Peralta has it in his sights. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One for the Giants on this swing by Brendan Crawford. Middle of the... Will Smith gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Ready for another shot now. Aaron Altair. He'll start things Center out fielder, in the home half of Aaron inning number five. Altair. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Looks like he was trying to bust him inside, and he might have held on to it just a little bit too long. Just like that, the leadoff man is aboard. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. First pitch hitting. If you get the pitch you want and you know he's going to deliver it, you can't miss it. That was a great swing. Ready, Calvin. Into the box now, Freddie Galvis, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. line toward center field. Spam patrolling center makes the play one out. Third baseman number seven, Michael Franco. Ready once again, Michael Franco, his career line against Will Smith. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw in time at first for route number two. And now they've got the runner caught in the hot box as he thought about going home. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. 
Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. He'll start the inning, and we're back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet. Right, guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. And here's a swing and a miss that time by Pence as he falls behind here, nothing in two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It Joe wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Here's Joe Panic. Swing and a line drive, but foul. One out, nobody on. Ball one. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. Well, that pulled him right there. Clearly, he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. Here's the one and two delivery. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Brandon Belt is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to it either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. What a great adjustment. The high fastball in the first one didn't have a good release point. The next one is able to put it on the corner, correcting himself as the at-bat goes on. I love it. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. I'll tell you, that's one of the, the first good swings we've seen Buster anybody Posey. put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. Into the box, Buster Posey. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Digging in to try it again. Aaron Nola Leading getting the hit for Philly. himself here, largely Catcher. due to the big cushion Aaron. he's got to work with. Nola. And now the Giants are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Into the windup and the pitch. A high fastball is in there. Nope. And a oh. neck-high fastball that time. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No oh, offer on that. that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Set to deal on 2 and 2. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, 3 and 2. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now I know he struck out there, but for a pitcher, that's a pretty solid at bat. Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches, that's a quality A-B in my book. Hard hit ball to second, fielded by Panic. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, number five. 
Digging in and looking for more. Number five. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Well, that was two quick outs right there, getting those guys in front of him, but now the two-hitter comes into play. Right here, you look to either get on base any way you can, hit a gapper, anything, because you want those big boys coming up next. Two out, nobody on. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. I like what I'm seeing right now. In, in, and then goes away. If you pound him in early. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And it remains an eight to one ball game. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's on to the seventh now in game two, but before we start, there's a look at our game summary to this point. Hitting out for the Giants. Ready for uh, another fielder. shot now. Number, Number 53. 53. 0 for They're 2 with a couple late. of strikeouts for now him so far. Adam Warren Number enters 43. from the pen to begin the frame with Adam a sizable lead Warren. with which to work. Aye. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. Well, he finds himself down 0-2, but those are two good pitchers' pitches. Both on the inside half, both for strikes. There's nothing you can do with it. You just got to hope now you get something to hit. Nope. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. 0-2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. Hit to first. And he'll step he's on first for the out. Three unassisted. The batter number 35. Shortstop. Brandon. Here's the Crawford. shortstop. Brandon Crawford. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. And the pitch. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that the location, so a good Third job there of exploiting that. Sandoval. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Here's the Panda now, Pablo Sandoval. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this it's half of the inning. Bottom of the seventh stretch. now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. Philadelphia is on top, eight to one. And now Boach is going to make his way out toward home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Corey Garrett enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. And batting in the sixth spot, number 62, Corey Garrett. Now playing shortstop and batting in the ninth Trying to spot. pick things up number where we 22. left off, David Peralta. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. Yeah. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat, nothing in one. I'm set with the 0-1. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Now a ball line fouled up and over the Phillies' dugout. Pitch on the way. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now batting, number 17. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number 17. It was a fly out for him in his last trip.
Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Bases are empty, one man out. And this is bounced foul at the plate, and that moves the count to 0-2 now. Way outside. One and two. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Well, he gets a hanging slider and does a nice job of driving this ball the other way. Great piece of hitting. Center fielder, Aaron Altair. Standing in now, Aaron Altair as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. He's one for two in this one. One and zero pitch on the way, and he won't bite at that one either. It's two and zero. On two and zero, you can bet he's looking for a fastball that he can turn on and drive. Might be thinking about picking on that big hole between first and second. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder has a beat on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting. Catcher. Here's the catcher, Travis, Travis Darno. He's two for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And the changeup is way low that time. Two out with the man at first. That's by him for strike one. Here's the one and one delivery. That gets down and the inning continues. Well, that's his third hit of the night. And are you surprised? That's three singles. The now six, three for four, and three singles. Not a bad night. Ready. Calvin. In now, Freddie Galvis. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. Third baseman. Ready once seven. again, Michael, Michael Franco. Franco. And he's got ducks on the pond, as they say, looking to add to his team's already sizable lead. Here comes the first pitch. Good bite to the slider there as it's chopped foul at the plate. Strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead. 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. 0-2 count. Here's the pitch. 0-2 pitch is a sinker that misses, but he's still in command. 1-2. Bases are loaded here. Two down. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. Pence is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Phillies leave him loaded. Striding in once again, Denard Span. He's one for two in the ball game. Denard Span. Now here it comes. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And this is popped high in the air back behind short. Galvis ranging into the outfield. One down. Now batting. Number 22. Stepping into the box, number 22. 
And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. In there, strike one. 0-1, oh here it comes. And that one stayed up a little high. One out, nobody on. Uh, and that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. The Usually right pitching is all about eight. mixing pitches Hunter and location. Pence. But he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0 and 1. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. He has been aggressive in this inning. 0 and 2 on this hitter. The first two outs were recorded quick because he came right after the hitter. I don't think that changes right now either. He's going to continue to be aggressive to this hitter as well. Altair is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Giants down in order. It's still an 8 to 1 ball game. Hunter Strickland comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better results Francisco. than the other arms that they've run out there in this Hunter one. Strickland. Matt Holliday is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Strike one call to the 37-year-old veteran up there. Nothing in one. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And a whiff at a good slider that time. What a good pitch. He went way out of the zone to try to swing and catch up to that slider. Now you got him thinking. It's 0-2. You can throw him anything you want. And this is swung on and missed by Holiday as he's retired for an important first out. Now Digging in once again, Cesar base. Hernandez. Cesar. He's working on a Hernandez. one for three thus far. And he'll try and crowd him there with a fastball to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Boy, that's a good pitch right there. The old old school guys would call that a little bit of chin music up and in. See if he can get him to move off the box a little bit. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second now out. Batting, number five. Now in the box, number five. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. He's ready. Here's the one oh. Looked like a slider perhaps, but it missed badly and it's two and oh. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. Two and oh count. Here it comes. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. And he can't make the play as he overruns it, but that should be scored as an infield single. Well, that's his fourth hit of the game, and he'll take the it right any way he can right there, an infield single. He doesn't care. That's a line drive in the books tomorrow. And a foul pop behind the plate. Posey has a play. Oh, he can't hold on to it. The 0 1 on its way. And he misses with it 1 and 1. Yeah, I think he missed that one, Matt. But you know what? That's going to happen. Umpires are part of the game. They're human. They're going to make mistakes. He missed it. Oh, well, get over it. Boy, Matt, I tell you, that looked like a good pitch right there. That looked like that pitch was in the zone. He just missed it. 
hit sharply on the ground. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. And Span's throw will arrive too late. He's in there at third base. A little two-out rally going on right now. Back-to-back -back base 17. hits, and now your runners at first and third. And let's see. Maybe they'll try to steal a run here. And there's a lot of things that can still happen with two outs in the inning. Into the box now, number 17, hit down the third base line. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Runners at the corners, two men out. Line toward right center. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Oh, they're playing small ball this inning, Matt. Back to back to back singles. Ready for another chance. Aaron Altair. He flew out in his last at bat. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the You're Luis Garcia lead. comes on to now start the inning, and he'll have a huge lead Number to work with. Here's Luis. Joe Panic. He's the one to start off the ninth inning with his guys in danger of going down two games to none if they can't rally. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. The 0-2 home on the ground softly towards second. Hernandez gloves it, throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The first baseman, number nine, Brandon Belt. Standing in, Brandon Belt. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. Fouled back. Bases are empty. One man out. And this one's hit on the ground, but fouled. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here's another one, too. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now here it comes. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Pretty good pitch right here to a left-handed power hitter. The one thing you want to do, keep the ball inside so he can't get those long arms out and extended. Really good pitcher's pitch right there, even though he didn't get the cold strike. Here's Buster Posey now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Peralta is there, and there are two men gone now. Striding into the box, number 53. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. And that's taken for strike one. Throws him with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. And this is swung on and missed for strike two. And now the Giants are down to their final strike. Looking at swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win. And that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that.
one more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Yeah, he really stood out to me in this one, guys. Absolutely electric stuff on the mound, and he racked up 10 strikeouts because of it. Solid performance as he leads his guys to victory. Nine to one is the way this one ends. The Phils earn the win and move on to two and zero oh in the division series. Jeff Samarja was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, the lefty Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Nine runs on 17 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Giants, one run, four hits. No errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 14 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Citizens Bank Park. 43,500. The Phillies thank you for attending and remind you to please buckle up and drive home safely.